so this fan is drying the paint on that blade which as you know is a new gray blade for a fan that looks just like that one only it has a gray blade obviously turn that down um, and on the note of that I put the white blade on this one That was great. Probably make a vi new video of it. And I'll make a new video of that fan with its blade. And then we got this trusty Lasco here. It's shop fan. It's doing a good job for drying. Good drying fan, I guess. Meanwhile, over here is shop still took some stuff in and all that and a uh, pile of grills over here one of these newer ones which needs to go in the back sorry about that but anyway yeah grills grills and more grills don't have a whole lot left actually that are in decent shape just but I'm not gonna get rid of any of these because I need them for you know in case I need a grill for a fan. If someone asked me personally, I might just might send a few out, but I really don't want to because I don't want to find packaging for all these or any of those. Then there's that. Got a couple busted blades over here. Brace blade. That blue blade off that 12150 and a Lasco blade. That's the one I was telling them about that, that part broke out. Which it actually still held on, but I wouldn't trust it. Put that back and put this back. And there's that one. And there's that stuff. Toastmaster still hasn't been put together. And the Atari Glasgow. This thing. I need to get rid of that thing. Um, there's that again. There's this. Here's, this has got really disorganized lately. And there's some Lakewoods. That EXL that's hopefully going to be going away soon. The Lakewood. The Galaxy the other week would uh, thin and light big 20 home art country air ge2 speed i believe i've re-videoed all that and probably all these except for that one i know i did that one that one that one and that one over there need to re-video the window fans there's the dominion on its stand like i said i told you had one. There's this again. There's that fan. Kind of a freak fan. Air King Lakewood thing. As you can tell, I got tons of blades. But I need to keep all these because most of these are for newer fans. And like I said in one of my other videos, I do get people in here once in a while that need one of these blades for their El Cheapo box fan. And hey, $15 fix one of their fans. And it doesn't happen often, but when it does, hey, spare money, right? <laughs> but anyway, that's mainly for that. And hopefully next time you'll see that blade on that Galaxy. Well, the conclusion to this restoration of sorts, I guess, um, is pretty much that Cyclone Blade worked out pretty good. It looks just like it would if it was the original blade. In fact, you might as well just say it is the original blade, because it looks just exactly like the original type and style of blade they used. 
which is good. And this time I won't die in a freak fan accident. It is unbalanced. I don't know why that is, but one of these has a chip in it. Not a big chip. Yeah, it's that one. That little dent in the plastic. I don't know if that was their way of trying to balance it or what, but it it does work great. Works better than with no blade, right? Gives high. Tell it's unbalanced when it's on low because it wibbly wobbly is everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but you can tell it's unbalanced. But anyway, at the end of the day, this fan is not ever leaving my collection. I've put too much work and too much crap into it to take. I just searched too long to find one. So, yeah, it's not going anywhere. And. Big old shout out to Ben Higgins for the fan back when I first got it. You know, he offered another blade for it. And, you know, I figured I'd try my own adventure on it. And we obviously got to the end of the, the road with it. So it is done and I can't say I'm any more happy with it. Brings back a lot of memories from when I was a kid. But that's another story. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And good day.